filthy swine! I'm going to open this damn door and skin you alive! You're not going to get the better of us! Mother? Louis, you've come around. How do you feel? Uh, I... It hurts. Mother? I... Can't feel my arm. Louis, I had to cauterize it with what I could find. Where's my arm? We'll get through this, Louis. Don't worry. I think I found a solution. You'll see. <sighs> we gotta leave. No, no, don't, don't put your arm in there. Louis, we can't leave without it. It's our last chance. I need to see this through to the end. I must do it. Done it, Louis. Look. Stubborn as a mule. Come on, up you get. I'll help you. Easy does it. You've lost a lot of blood. Uh, and now what? Let's take what we came for. Yes, my carelessness has cost me dearly. Yes. But even so, we haven't time to feel sorry for ourselves. Let's not waste another minute, Louis. Wait, I've got to know what I did wrong. That is one fearsome mechanism. In fact, if I hadn't watched you beforehand, I would never have found the right combination. Tell me, where did I go wrong? The three nails, yes, it, it's true. They let you open the iris. Yes, but you still need to find the right theme, don't you? The fresco was a trap. Apart from the fresco, everything pointed to the crucifixion. The things that make it possible to activate the mechanism are associated with the crucifixion. The cross to activate the mechanism and the nails to choose a date. What did you do once you uncovered the iris? I matched the icon of the Crown of Thorns with the town of Golgotha, where the crucifixion took place. Well, how did you manage to crack the puzzle? Then I had to link the Crown of Thorns to the date of the crucifixion, according to the exegesis. But I failed to understand the first time. With that theme in mind, I chose 26M, which represents the 26th of March. To conclude, I had to use the armillary sphere to find the moon corresponding to the day of the crucifixion, which turned out to be in the first quarter. All that was left to do was to link all those elements on the same axis. Be careful, Mother. As if me saying that will make any difference. Knowing Mortimer, I wouldn't be surprised if he rigged his crypt with traps. So you think the door is not enough? Do you want to wager your other hand? You've got a point there. Your Eminence, you're worrying me. What is happening to you? Nothing, Louis. Just a moment of weakness, but I'm better now. I am all ears. No, no, Your Eminence. I thought you'd be the only one able to help me with it. Your words lack conviction, Louis. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good, you know. You have no reason to lie to me. I need it. Why? You won't understand. <sighs> Try me, Louis. I need to protect myself with it. Louis, I thank you for your sincerity. I should... Of course not, Your Eminence. Come now, Louis. Please don't insult me. It's just a pity that you have no idea why you are looking for it. No, no, I, I was wondering about it myself. Oh, Louis. It's even worse than I thought. I believe you when you say you only come to find out more. But in that case, it means that Sarah didn't even tell you the point of it all. Because, believe me, you are looking for it. No, you are the first I've spoken to about it, Your Eminence. Come now, Louis. 
Are you quite sure of that? Nothing in particular. I, I'd like to study it, that's all. Louis, please. I'm sure you can do better than that. Louis. You should abandon your project. I say this for your own good. You will only get burned if you embark on this enterprise. Lead the lands where it is. Too many people have suffered because of it. Please excuse me, Your Eminence. I'm, I'm in a terrible hurry. Of course you are. And you won't listen to my advice. Don't worry about me, Your Eminence. Everything is fine. That is not the impression you give. Minus one of your limbs. Wait, is he reacting to my arm at last? Good luck. What a mess. Looks like Volner was interrupted. What you recovered for me, it must be about the Alizif. Volner told me that he had managed to find it. Looks a lot like straw, and he's drawn something in a hurry on this sheet. I get the feeling that. I've seen that somewhere before. Yes, it's definitely a drawing of the Lock of Alazif. Volner must have kept a copy. Straw on his desk, as if to, as if to protect something fragile. Yes, someone must have packed something away here. Table of alchemical symbols. Someone circled the zinc symbol. Look, a, a blotter. And apparently it's been used recently. I wonder what Volner was going to write. It's smudged. It's not all legible. I can make out the signature though and leave as Azif planned le Legible. Let's see if I can find a solution in Volner's things here. Given his interest in alchemy, I wouldn't be surprised if I found something that revealed what's written somewhere in his room. Landing stage. Landing stage. So Volner is going to leave. Alazif at the landing stage, isn't he? Not surprising, most of these works are in German. And one in Latin. Longini Militis Fabulum. Ah, what have we here? It looks like a kind of biography on Longinus the Centurion. Truly, Volner has done everything he can to get information about that lance. Mm, I'd better keep this one though. Maybe he knows something about the lance. What happened? You, you've lost. Ah, oh, how horrible! Your hand! I... It's an accident. To tell you the an truth, I... accident? Are you joking? You have lost your hand, Louis. We've got to do something. It's been done. I've been given treatment, rest assured. I admit that I didn't truly realize the consequences of my recklessness. So, just stay calm. Yes, yes, of course. But, Louis, it's your hand! I know. Please, look, there's nothing I can do about it. I know. I made a mistake, but it's too late now. It was an accident. I only wanted to inspect the place to find my mother and, well, I fell into a trap. The result is appalling, I, I grant you that, but at least I can guarantee that we're all perfectly safe here on this island. And you joke about it? Am I dreaming? No, sir, but let's be realistic. So many world leaders brought together in one place, and there are no safeguards? The error indeed stems from my recklessness. I went looking here and there in search of my mother, and 
I had an accident. It's my own fault. Fine. We will drop this uh, incident. <laughs> Why are you here? What are you doing in my room? Well, sir, I see you have some captivating books, and you seem to be rather interested in the famous Longinus. No, I... It's... Uh, what's it to do with you? I overheard you speaking with Piaggi. What are you two up to, exactly? No, I... Oh, fine. Yes. We are looking for the Holy Lots. That imbecile has given Mortimer all the ones kept in the private collection of the Holy See. But it, it's not what you think. I... Hang on a minute. You're the one looking for the lance. No, Don't I... Don't take me for a fool. You are looking for the holy lances. I'm not looking for the lances of Longinus von Volner. I'm looking for the lance of Longinus. The one that pierced Christ's side. You are playing with fire. Don't take it the wrong way. I'll leave you all the copies. Don't worry about that. Good answer. What are you playing, Atriche? Mortimer's the one who has that cursed lance. How long have you been looking for it? Ah, I see. You want it, and so you plan to steal it from Mortimer. For a long time. Isn't that right? Why, you little swine! You're planning to give it to Sir Gregory. You're looking to double-cross me and Piaggi too. What on earth is he talking about? But calm yourself, goddammit. You're the one I'm trying to help. What? What? I heard you talking with his eminence, and it seemed to me that this story about the lances had put you in a tight spot. I was only trying to be helpful. But why didn't you tell me straight away? Seeing as I hadn't found it, I, I didn't want to commit myself too quickly. If I failed, I, I would look like a beginner. Uh, I understand, Louis. Von Volner, let's not have a misunderstanding. I, I had nothing else to read in my bookcase, and I wondered ah, if I... Stop your blathering, Duriche. Not at all. I... I've come here to talk to you about the Al-Azif. Ach, you are lying through your teeth! You are not here for the Al-Azif! No, of course not. Well, what makes you think that? You are a very bad liar, my lad. Don't think you're going to get away with it so easily. Drop it. I can see very well. Don't take it the wrong way. I was just passing through. Ach, don't take me for a fool. As far as I know, I did not invite you. And I do not much appreciate you entering my quarters like this, King, for the Holy Lances. Why, of course not. What makes you think that? You're a bad liar, my boy. Don't... That's right. You can read me like an open book. I'll find the lance before you and make you look like a fool in front of home. Hang on. You're trying to pull one over on me. If that was your plan, you wouldn't reveal it so easily. It must be for something else. All right, all right, calm down. I don't give a damn about getting you and Sir Gregory's bad books. Look at yourself, goddammit, you're ridiculous. Shut it! Don't think you're going to fool me so easily. If you're not looking for the lance for Sir Gregory, then why do you want it? Drop it. I can see very well you're trying to take me for a ride. You have no idea of what... You're getting yourself into it, Duriche. Don't think you're going to get off lightly. Never will I help you find the Golden Lance of Longinus. Never! Don't make me your competition, Duriche. You are no match. Now, get out of here! I managed to get the biography of Longinus as a Maturian. Let's see what it can teach me. Hmm. An interesting passage here tells me that the lance is engraved with the symbol of the first Christians. The fish. Saint Longinus. Let's take a closer look at his lance. It is shaped like a leaf. Like, like the real lance, maybe. How can I be sure? I think this statue does represent Longinus, armed with a lance that wounded Jesus, the Holy Lance. 
how can I find out if this is an exact representation? There's no way of being certain of it. No, this is too easy. Mortimer's trying to throw me off the track again. It seems too visible to be true. Impossible not to see the statue on first glance, given its size. And Mortimer has no interest in making the shape of the true lance so easy to see. Hey, looks like there's a symbol engraved on the tip. Yes, a fish. The Christian fish, no doubt. It can't be a coincidence. It, it must have been done on purpose. Huh, good thing I took a closer look. Damn it! Mother's going to be livid. <clears throat> I'd better get over to the wharf. No point in risking another confrontation. I've been in the crypt of the manor. What the hell were you doing there? I was visiting and got lost. I do believe that is the worst lie anyone has ever told me. You are not even qualified to be here among us. How dare you speak to me in that tone? Don't play that game with me. If I find out you are preventing this conference from going ahead smoothly, I will do everything in my power to arrest you. Are you threatening me? Did Lord Mortimer tell you you could trust me? Yes, but... So? I might have disappointed you on the negotiation of your precious cannons, but Lord Mortimer believes I can still be useful. I'm working for him right now, and you're wasting my time with your questions. I... Look, if he hasn't taken you into his confidence, then you shouldn't know yet. I'll soon figure out what you are up to. All right, you win. Here, this is what I stole from Lord Mortimer. Sorry if it might you have- You must really take me for a fool. These things are everywhere in the manor. I know perfectly well that it is not what you are hiding. I don't know what you're talking about. Very well. You leave me no choice but to alert Lord Mortimer. Blast it. I'll never manage to leave this island if he keeps this up. Wait. Very well. Fair is fair. You've exposed me. Here. This is what I took from him. Look, I'm sorry. I acted on a bizarre impulse. I don't know why, sir. And frankly, you have disappointed me. That said, it is not as bad as uh, you thought it would be. Right. We'll leave it there. I'm glad that things have been cleared up. So, are we finished here? Indeed we are. I shall leave you. That's right. Go play somewhere else. See you later, monsieur. I'll never manage to leave this island if he keeps this up. Wait! You leave me no choice. Come with me! Mikis, what is this? to something. You will thank me later for saving you from this serious error. Damn it! Mother's going to be livid. 